Hey guys, it's Casey Lansdale and welcome to Casey's Kitchen. Not a sentence I thought I'd ever say, but today we are going to make mom's taco mess. This is not my mother, she does not cook. This is Hap's mother. And though I don't actually know too much about Hap's mom, I always sort of imagined her as my grandmother, Rita, oh Rita, or as we call her, Reader. So uh, Reader was very inventive, especially having grown up during the Great Depression era. She would basically find any ingredient and make it work. So this is sort of an homage to her. And uh, today we have meat. You can use beef or turkey meat. Uh, in the recipe, it calls for possibly the cow that you are friends with. I prefer to use animals that I don't know personally. It's just, uh, just my personal preference. We also have whole kernel corn. I've already drained it, so I recommend that you drain it. We have pinto beans and black beans. Uh, you can do one or the other or both. Those I didn't drain. I did pour a little bit off the top of the pinto beans but um, it's okay to just dump it right in the bowl. We have the taco seasoning, which you can buy at the store. We have shredded cheese. And because I have not made the hot sauce recipe yet, we are going to use Rusty's Texas Red. Rusty is a, um, actually Russ, and he's a friend of mine, and this hot sauce is delicious. So uh, shout out to Rusty's Texas Red. Amazing, and we're gonna get started. Step one, as with anything in the kitchen, Wash your hands. Step two, spray the pan. Step three, light the fire. It's hard not to hear the, come on baby, light my fire. Okay, next, we take the meat. I'm just gonna kind of peel it up here. So that's it, you just have the meat in here, you kind of break it up because we're making ground meat. So you brown it just like you would any other taco situation. And maybe start to flip it a little bit. You know the drill. Okay, so the meat is basically cooked. It might could stand another 30 seconds or so, but it's gonna go back in with the actual taco mix, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna strain it out real quick. Get a little bit of that grease, that delicious artery-clogging grease. We're gonna just put this here, give it a little shaky shake, and back in the pan. Taco mix. My personal preference, McCormick Taco Mix. It's like a dollar at Kroger, Ralph's, whatever is the place you shop. Very easy. The directions are actually on the back of the package. Open. Pour it onto the meat. And then, as instructed, three-fourths cup of water. Pour it on and give it a good stir. You're just gonna kind of mix it in. And then once it kind of comes to a boil, then you'll go on to the next step. See how that's coating the meat there? As you can see, it's starting to come to a boil. So we're going to just let all of that simmer for a couple minutes. It recommends five. I tend to do a little shorter just because it simmers when I add the uh, pinto beans, the black beans, and the corn. And that three-fourths cup of water has already started to evaporate in here, so really nice. So we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes, and then next steps. Okay, so as you can see, the liquid has all but evaporated. It's probably been about three minutes. Now I'm going to take the drained corn dump it in and then this is the mix of the 
black beans that are undrained, the pinto beans that I drained just a little bit off the top. And we're gonna just pour all that in. And then we're mixing it up. And that's one can each. Okay, so everything's in here and you can see the liquid is already evaporating, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna just let it sit and simmer. So I'm gonna grab this lid here, put it on top, and then walk away. So I'm just going to take off the lid and you can see it's boiling, but there's a little bit of liquid left and that will all absorb into the meat and the beans after it sits for a moment and cools off. So basically you're done. You just take the concoction here, mom's mess, pour it into a bowl, and then add the cheese, um, Rusty's Red if you've got it. Uh, your own choices, you can put it on a tortilla, you can do uh, like traveling tacos where you just put it in a cup and that way you don't have to have the carbs if you're watching such a thing. Um, some people use lettuce leaves. I am not those people, but some people do that. Uh, your choice. So you add what you want and there's mom's mess. Mm -hmm.